Now, those frigid temperatures are causing issues with some vehicles because just like we aren't used to this sort of cold, most of our cars are not either. And our Lauren Harkson checking in with the kinds of problems auto companies are already seeing, Lauren. Catherine, Steve, this weather couldn't have come at a worse time. AAA is expecting record-breaking travel for this weekend, yet temperatures continue to fall across the country. That means a lot of car problems. Vehicles do not like extreme temperatures, hot or cold. And it's safe to say it's really cold right now. We see a lot of problems when it gets cold like this. Clay Ingram says AAA is receiving a high number of calls and they're not the only ones. We've had several calls for the day say, hey, my door's frozen shut, I can't open it. Long Lewis of Alabaster service manager Edgar Barron says frozen doors, tire lights, and dead batteries are consuming a majority of their call volume. People's tire lights are going on like crazy, um, and that's a very normal thing. As air, as cold air condenses inside the tire, it drops the pressure inside your tire, so it's going to turn your tire light on. You probably just need a couple of pounds, anywhere from three to five to seven pounds of air, and you should be fine. Batteries is probably the number one issue. The, the cold just just kills a lot of batteries, especially if, if they're older batteries, because most batteries only last about three years or so anyway. And that issue could leave you stranded somewhere. To jumpstart the car, all you need is a set of jumper cables and a good Samaritan with a working vehicle. The other thing would be uh, washer fluid. We're having a lot of people's washer fluid bottles totally busted open because they're just filling them with water. Well, if you fill your washer bottle with, with water, of course it's going to freeze up and it's going to break the plastic bottles that they come in. Barron says that's why it's imperative to add the solvent or washer fluid to the bottle too. As far as that frozen door. There's two options. If you have an auto start, is go ahead and start your car and let the car warm up by itself from the inside out and that'll help with the doors. Other thing is pouring warm water in your door handles. Now I'm told keeping an emergency kit in your car is also a good idea just in case you become stranded in these freezing temperatures. So make sure you have water, granola bars, a blanket and an external charger to keep your phone battery alive while you're stuck so you can call for help. Steve.